I would like to thank everybody for coming today. It's uh, an inspiration to see so many people who are prepared to come from f far away to defend the unborn, to defend them against this attack on their lives, to protect our youngest and most vulnerable and weakest brothers and sisters. And I say that not as a matter of exaggeration or sentimentality, because these children who will be victims of this bill really are our children. Now we know that uh, abortion kills a human being, and that is not based on uh, religious views necessarily. This is shown by scientific objective fact. Human life begins before birth. Birth lets us see the human being, but the human being was there well before we could see him or her. The other fact of abortion that is ignored in this debate very often is that in addition to killing the baby, abortion harms women. Abortion is not advancing women's interests. Abortion harms women's interests. Abortion often results in depression, uh, physical harm to the woman, and indeed, even in some cases, suicide. Is that what is being done in the name of advancing women, to inflict that on them? Look, this is extremist legislation by any measure. The Legislative Assembly, in spite of good evidence that abortion is excruciatingly painful to many unborn, the Legislative Assembly voted against pain relief for a fetus. That is how extremist this measure is. It voted against any requirements against coercion, for, against uh, measures against coercion of women into abortion. The bill allows for partial birth abortion not so much abortion actually as a normal form of homicide. In partial birth abortion, you might know that the fetus is taken with forceps by its feet out of the womb until only its head is in the birth canal. It's brought out feet first because if the head came out first, it would be born too quickly to kill it before it was actually fully born. This is illegal throughout the United States of America. In spite of the Supreme Court decision in Roe versus Wade, the constitutionality of laws against the partial birth abortion have been upheld throughout the United States. So this form of homicide, which is illegal right through the United States, is to be legalized in Victoria under this bill. The bill allows for abortion for any reason or for no reason, including sex selection of children. The United Nations, which is no pro-life body, I'm afraid, reported in 2005 that sex selection abortion throughout the world, in conjunction with infanticide, has killed 60 million girls around the world. This practice happens now in the United States, and there's no reason for thinking it doesn't happen in Australia. So the irony is that these feminists are actually supporting a bill to allow the killing of females because they are female. It is said that the law cannot impose morality. That is nonsense. Murder, rape, assaults of all kind are immoral. It does not preclude them being illegal. Our legal system properly ends our freedom where harm to another person begins. And what greater harm can we do than to kill the youngest people in the most painful way imaginable? The victims of this bill will be real. Their pain will be real. And they, the victims, are real people. Thank you.